Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of my nuke series. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a series where I'm going to be getting a nuke with every single weapon in the game with the polyatomic camo on. And in this episode, I'm going to be using the M13. If you don't know yet, to get the M13, you'll have to go into DMZ, go to the radiation zone, kill the chemist in the bright yellow suit, pick up his gun and extract of it, and then you'll have the M13. On screen here is going to be the class setup that I was using for this game. I use the suppressor and the barrel to increase damage range and reduce the recoil a little bit. I use the stock to increase my mobility a bit and also make my aim walk movement speed quite fast. I had the red dot because I thought the iron types were a bit shitty. And then I had 60 round mags because this thing's got high fire rate and it tends to run out of ammo quite quickly when you're playing on 6v6. So but I wouldn't say this is a 6v6 gun to be honest with you. If you're going to use this, I definitely think this is made mainly for warzone or long ranges like on invasion or something. Because uh, I noticed like if you get into a fight with a uh, like Fennec or a P90 or like a submachine gun really, you're just not going to win. If they, if they hit the bullet and you hit the bullet at the same time, they're going to win no matter what. This thing, it seems quite weak, but it makes up for it with, with the range. Like you could beam someone really easily at high fire rate from quite far away. So I noticed to win quite a lot of long range fights with it. So if you're going to use this setup, I definitely reckon you should either use it in Warzone or use it on Ground War or Invasion. But it's still pretty good in 6v6. So if you're a 6v6 player, go for it. Either way, solid class setup. It's a pretty solid gun as well. I don't think it's as good as the old M13 in Modern Warfare, like the 2019 one. But it's still a pretty good gun. And I enjoyed getting this nuke. For the perks that I was using, I'm using like the same perks as I always do, which is which is uh, tracker, scavenger, uh, fast hands, and ghost. I think actually, if I'm going to start getting nukes on 6v6 or just on shoot house in particular, I think I'm going to change ghost out for quick fix because, like, I've noticed so many times I've nearly got a nuke and I've died. I've literally killed like four people and there's been one other guy there to one shot me or something like that. And if I had quick fix in a situation like that, it would sort me out because it, quick fix, what it does is uh, once you're injured and you kill a player, it instantly heals you. And it didn't used to be an ultimate perk. So you like in the beta, it was a... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's the you know where the fast hands perk is. The one before ultimate it was there. So I I was running quick fix and ghost as well. But now they've put it in the ultimate section. So now you have to like exchange ghost for it, which is quite annoying. But I think I'm going to use quick fix instead of ghost on shoot house. Only shoot house though, because I just I don't feel like many people go for UAVs on shoot house. I feel like everybody puts on the high kill streaks. Because they feel like they're going to get more kills or something. But I also think that it's going to get me a nuke a lot easier. Because quick fix in some of these situations really help me out. Uh, scavenger though in this game. Wh why scavenger so shit? Like they dropped the scavenger bags. And I've literally watched them just disappear before I've got to the body. And I swear it only gives you a couple of bullets. Like it literally does not give you that many bullets at all. So I have to run ammo box non-stop now. Because the amount of times I've run out of ammo in the middle of... Like, my streak is just mental. Like, it's, it's so annoying. You run over loads of bodies expecting to get scavenger bags, and you don't get any. It's, it's ridiculous. I think that needs a buff. Uh, fast hands on this, though, is, is, is a must, I think. It's just so hectic. There's so much going on. You need that speed reload. Sometimes you need to be able to change weapon really quick as well. So, yeah. Fast hands on shoot house. Definitely the perk you should be running. I don't really like how the perks go on this game. I don't like how you have to get them halfway through the game. I don't. I really don't like that. I, like, Modern Warfare 3's Pro Perks, or like Modern Warfare 2, all the rest of the pods that did that, Pro Perks are the way to go, that was amazing. Specialist as well, I'm gutted they took that out, I used to run that in Modern Warfare 2019. Anyway, there it is, MGB, 30 kill streak with the M13, absolute phenomenal gun, loved it, it was great. So much, it's just so, such a satisfying gun to use, so accurate, it, I don't know, it just feels great. Use it, use the class setup. I think this gun's going to be amazing on Warzone, so yeah, look out for the upload. I'll upload the Warzone win with that gun and the setup. If you're new around here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a ton. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.